You've heard sharks must keep swimming to survive. But what if I told you? Some sharks can stop moving and still breathe. Here's the crazy part. They breathe without lungs. And it's way more advanced than you'd think. Sharks have ruled the oceans for over 400 million years. But beneath their terrifying reputation is a hidden biological masterpiece. Their ability to extract oxygen from water. And it's not just survival. It's survival at extreme depths, low oxygen zones, and even total stillness. So how do sharks actually breathe? And what happens when the ocean stops giving them air? Unlike humans, sharks don't have lungs. Instead, they breathe through gills, specialized organs that pull oxygen from water and release carbon dioxide. Sound simple? It's not. Water only contains about 1% of the oxygen that air does. So sharks had to evolve to become ultra-efficient, absorbing up to 80% of the oxygen that passes over their gills. Their secret? A countercurrent exchange system. As water flows one way across the gill filaments, blood flows the opposite way inside, maximizing oxygen absorption. But here's where it gets wild. Sharks breathe using two different strategies, depending on their lifestyle. Bucal pumping. This is used by more sedentary species like nurse sharks or tiger sharks. They have powerful cheek muscles that actively suck water into their mouths, then force it over the gills allowing them to rest on the ocean floor and still breathe. Ram ventilation. Then there are the pursuit predators, like great whites, makos, and whale sharks. They can't stop moving. They swim with their mouths open, letting water flow through and out the gill slits. No movement equals no oxygen. Stop swimming, and they suffocate. Yes, some sharks do die if they stop swimming, but not all. Now here's something even weirder. Some sharks have tiny openings behind their eyes called spiracles. These help pull water in even when their mouths are closed or when they're buried under sand. Species like the angel shark or epaulette shark use spiracles to breathe while lying motionless, ambushing prey or conserving energy. And the epaulette shark? It can survive with almost no oxygen for hours by slowing its metabolism to nearly a standstill. Try doing that on land. But there's a new problem. Oxygen levels in the ocean are dropping. Fast. In the past two decades, scientists have recorded a steady decline, much faster than expected. And sharks? They're already feeling it. Why? Because warmer water holds less oxygen. As oceans heat up due to climate change and carbon pollution, low oxygen zones are expanding, squeezing sharks out of their hunting grounds. Species that rely on the surface for oxygen, like the great white, are losing territory. Even worse, their prey is disappearing too, fleeing or dying in these suffocating zones. The result? Disrupted ecosystems, dying coral reefs, collapsing food chains. You might be thinking, so what? I'm not a shark. But this isn't just their problem. The same warming oceans threatening sharks are driving wildfires, heat waves, and toxic air here on land. And the oceans? They absorb 30% of our carbon pollution at the cost of their own health. As acidification rises, even a shark's sense of smell, its main tool for hunting, gets scrambled. If predators like sharks lose their edge, Prey populations explode, ecosystems unravel, sharks breathe through gills. But to keep breathing, they now face an invisible enemy, a planet losing its oxygen. Some have evolved to survive without moving. Some can tolerate low oxygen zones. But no shark, no species, can survive if the ocean can't breathe. A shark doesn't need lungs to breathe. But it does need a planet that cares.